What is happening everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Rake and Profit over at Rake and Profit com coming back to you guys with another video and in today's video I want to share with you guys five items that I sold recently in my eBay business and if you're wondering right now Steve eBay business wait you've been doing Amazon for the longest time you've been doing Kindle publishing you haven't been selling on eBay yes I got started again selling on eBay and I've been selling some items and it's been going pretty well considering the little bit of effort that I've been putting in uh, into my eBay business and I want to change that. I want to continue to grow that and put more effort into it. But I've sold some items and I want to give you guys a sales update for my eBay business. Also, I want to share with you guys three items that I picked up at some yard sales the other day. That was uh, Friday. Yeah, I went out Friday uh, thrifting with my mom and we actually ran across some uh, yard sales and I picked up a few cool little uh, outdoor sporty types of items. So I want to share those with you as well. So without further ado, if you're ready to rock and roll, let's dive into this video. So the first item that I sold is actually an item that I had picked up quite a while ago. It was probably like a year, year or two ago. And I picked up a bunch of these baseball mitts from Dick's Sporting Goods. And I listed them all up and then I just like forgot about them. I think I was transition, transitioning out of eBay at the time. I was like deep into Kindle publishing and it was like my main focus. And I kind of just let go of a lot of my reselling stuff. And um, I had these things listed up. These are some Mizuno uh, outfielder Baseball gloves, 100% leather, Global Elite, and uh, they're about 12, no, 13 inches, 12.75 inches, so a decent sized glove. And I threw them in a closet, I listed them up, and I just forgot about them. And um, I was kind of, you know, digging through some of my old inventory, and I found about seven or eight of these that I had picked up from Dick's Sporting Goods. I paid, I think I paid like 30 something dollars each. And uh, some of them are brand new with tags, others have the tag ripped off, but they're all new. These things retail are going for like $200. So I decided to list them up on eBay and they've actually been selling. I sold two of these on eBay. I sold one on Craigslist and uh, this one right here I just sold the other day for $125, no $135 plus $15 shipping. So uh, keep your eye out for Mizuno baseball gloves. Also, if you're living you know, on the East Coast when it's winter time, right? Or, or at the end of summer when like the sports are all ending, Keep your eye out at these sporting goods. I don't know if you have a, um, a Dick's Sporting Goods in your area or a, um, a Sports Authority. Actually, I think they all went out of business. I'm not sure though. But if you have any sporting goods stores around your area, keep an eye out for baseball gloves. I, I popped on a bunch of them and uh, now they're starting to sell. Better late than never, but uh, that was a really nice flip right there and I'm looking forward to selling some more. I wanna share with you guys some clothing items that I ended up selling. And uh, yeah, they're really, really cool. Check this puppy out right here. This is a Ralph Lauren Polo, size extra large. Um, I mean, check out the embroidery on the front. This thing is really cool. Unique color scheme. Uh, you know, you got the green, the yellow, the, the blues, or the purple, the purples. It's a uh, PRL Polo Club New York. These things are super, super popular. Uh, I think I shortchanged myself a little bit on this item. But again, guys, I'm just trying to get things moving right now. I want to build up my confidence. It's, it's really a mind battle uh, a lot of times when it comes to selling online. And what do I mean by like a mind battle? It's, it's, it's getting that confidence. It's the battle between knowing if it works or it doesn't. And I've done this before, guys, right? I've sold on eBay, but it's been like over a year since I've really like been in the mix of selling items. And I'm really just trying to build up my confidence again. So as crazy as that sounds, it's true. But I sold that for 45 buckaroos right there and uh, I had it I had it for sale for 90 or 97 I didn't have any bites on that it went a month without selling lowered it down to 77 got an offer on it for 35 countered them with counted them at 60 and he came back with 45 and I'm like you know what I just want to get it moving um, so sold that puppy right there not sure what I paid for it but uh that's been in my inventory for a while here's a uh, a Paul and shark yachting shirt I believe this is a hundred percent Silk. No, it's 100% linen. I'm sorry. 100% linen right here. Paul and Shark Yachting. Really, really awesome brand. Let me bring that in for you. I don't know if it's going to focus, but uh, check that out right there. Awesome, awesome brand. 100% linen. Uh, made in Italy, guys. When you're selling clothing, look for the clothing that's made in Italy. Not all clothing in Italy is going to be profitable, but it's a good chance that uh, if it is made in Italy, uh, it can make you some money. So those are the two clothing items I sold. I think this sold for, I wanna say 45, was it 35 or 45? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm leaning towards 45. So flip those two puppies, gotta get these shipped out today. 
The next item I sold was a pair of Alden shoes. You guys might have seen these in one of my haul videos. Really, really interesting pair of shoes right here. And uh, I listed these up for $299, right? And uh, I was looking in the comments from this, from the video that I posted of the haul uh, with these shoes. And a lot of people were saying 100 bucks, 150, 200. I priced them really, really high because I knew they were rare. Um, they were in spectacular condition, guys. I mean, really good shape. Um, a little bit of wear on the on the bottom and whatnot, but uh, they were in great shape. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to price it super high. I'm going to put a best offer option on it. And I'm going to see what happens. Well, uh, it went about, I think it went about a month and it didn't sell. And then I relisted it and boom, got an offer for 200 and... 25 or 235. I don't know guys. It's one of those but I think 225 I got an offer for he wanted the measurements I sent him the measurements of the ball and the uh, the bottom of the shoe from the from the heel to the toe He liked it. He said all right, let's do it and I accepted the offer so I'm gonna ship these out I think I paid was it 15 or 20 bucks at a Goodwill uh, in kind of like the little Richie Richie area. I have a little a little town that's kind of higher end around my area and I always find really high end stuff over there. So that's cool. Alden uh, from England, really cool. Um, yeah, keep your eye out for shoes. And the last item that I sold, item number five on eBay that went for some decent profit were these, uh, these Kobe shoes. I don't know much about them guys. I'm not a huge basketball fan. Uh, but you know, with, with Kobe Bryant retiring and everything, I mean, these things are definitely pretty, pretty cool and probably in some good demand. Uh, sold these for, I think I sold them for 70 or 75, somewhere around there. As you can see, guys, I don't have the greatest memory in the world. Uh, but these were size 12, really, really good shape. Uh, it looks like they're maybe only worn once or twice, so that was pretty neat. And I picked these up at a different Goodwill, not the same Goodwill that I found the Aldens, but it was a different Goodwill. And actually, my buddy Vinny, he popped on these things. He saw them, and he said, man, these things look cool. And uh, he doesn't sell on eBay, so he just passed them over to me if I wanted it. And uh, I said, yeah, I'll take it. I think I paid, what was it, 13 or 16 one of those prices. Um, and these sold for what? Like 70 bucks, they said. So uh, that was a cool little flip. I'm going to ship these puppies out today. And uh, yeah, hopefully the uh, customer's happy and everything. But yeah, those are the five items that I picked up and resold on eBay. Really excited that my price per sale is actually really, really high. So that's the way I'm trying to keep it. And uh, yeah, having a blast. Really loving selling on eBay. All right, guys, now let's transition into a couple items that I picked up from some uh, garage sales on Friday when I was out thrifting and hustling with Mama Profits. So these are the first two items that I picked up over at a uh, local garage sale, and uh, I just saw them sitting on a table. These are softball bats. Uh, this is a, uh, a Worth, let me flip it this way, a Worth Reva, no, not a Revolution. I was going to say that, a Worth Revolver softball bat. Only used one time. This thing's in mint condition. Paid, they wanted, he wanted, he wanted 10 for this and five for that. I said, listen, man, I don't really need it that much, but what's the best you would do for both of them? And uh, he said, you know, have them for five each. So I popped on them for five each. This, I think maybe locally might go for like 40 or 50 bucks. I'm not 100% sure, but again, guys, it's in mint, mint, mint condition. So uh, certain, certain softball bats could definitely bring in some good money. And uh, there's a lot of people who play softball, believe it or not. I'm in a softball league and I'm getting started in two weeks. So I'm pumped up for that. This bat right here, I'm not 100% sure about. I know I used this when I used to play uh, high school baseball. This is a softball bat, but I used to have this uh, same exact bat. It's the, uh, the Easton Z Core. Really, really popular, and I looked up some of the sold listings, and some of these seem to be going for about a hundred bucks. I'm just not a hundred percent sure if it's the same exact model, so I need to do some more research. But uh, seems to be in pretty good shape. Just taking a risk, guys. I'm gonna see how how these things do. I really want to sell them locally on Craigslist, just because I don't know how I'm gonna ship this thing out. I'm gonna have to find some type of box or make my own box to ship this out, and I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of money since it's really, really long. It's just a weird size. So if any of you guys have any tips for shipping out softball bats or baseball bats, definitely leave a comment below. I would love your uh, your help on that. I've never shipped a bat. I don't think, maybe I have, I don't know, but it's been a while. Yeah, definitely leave a comment below, but those are the first two items that I picked up for 10 bucks. Let me know how I did, guys, in the comments section. And the last item that I picked up, I'm actually gonna have to pick it up off the ground, was a bicycle that I popped on at a local garage sale. They wanted 50, the best price I could get for it was 40 bucks. So let me show you this item. All right guys, so it's missing the wheel because I just took it out of my uh, car, but this is a Diamondback Ascent. Really, really interesting. Take a look at the, uh, 
the, the front of this thing. It's really, really cool and unique. So I ended up getting that for 40 bucks and I'm hoping to get maybe 100 to $150 locally. It's really, it's a really strong, sturdy bike. Has some decent components, nice derailleur, and it's definitely a bike that I could see somebody enjoying. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna see how that does, but I love selling bikes, guys. If you're not following me on Instagram or Facebook at Rake and Profit, definitely follow me because I'm always posting pictures of bikes that I'm popping on and reselling locally. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you had fun seeing the five items that I sold on eBay. I, I'm certainly having a ton of fun selling on eBay again and uh, really enjoying sharing with you what I've been selling. And uh, it's awesome going to garage sales, guys. You never know what you're gonna find. So if you ever see any softball bats, be on the lookout for these puppies right here. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. That are very low barrier to entry. Pretty much what I mean by that is anybody can do it. You can just pull out your phone. You can just, you can just pull out your phone and scan the item. That's gonna get more challenging and the profits are gonna get squeezed out slowly but surely, I'm seeing it. So make sure to stay ahead of the curve. If you have special ways to source more items or get it cheaper or working out deals with companies, that's how you're gonna get your edge. But if you're gonna continue to do the same thing over and over again, I truly believe you're gonna get squeezed out of the market.